Welcome to White Lecture Online. When we shot the previous video, number three, my wife said, that's not my method. I have a better method than that. So <laughs> we're going to show you another alternate method. This one is the one that my wife likes to use. So what she says, do not even bother writing the equivalent equations. Just leave the inequalities where they are and solve each one of them for y. So let's do that. So in our first inequality, we move the 2x to the other side, so we get y is greater than or equal to minus 2x plus 40. And then we solve the second inequality, so here we have uh, 3y is greater than negative x plus 15, and then divide both sides by 3, we get y is greater than minus 1 third x plus 5. So now we end up with the two alternate inequalities. But notice that they are written in the form y equals mx plus b, except instead of an equal sign, we have a greater than sign. So we could also graph them. So let's do that now. We graph them. We have our y-axis. We have our x-axis. And that didn't come up very well, so let me write that again. There we go. And uh, we have 20, 40, 30, 10, 10, 20. And notice that the first line would have a slope of minus 2 and an intercept of 40. So that looks like it's going to be something that looks like this. And then the next line has an intercept of 5 minus 1 third. And that has to be a dashed line because it does not include. And that would be the point of intersection somewhere over there. So this is line number 1. And this is line number 2 representing the boundaries of those two inequalities. So then the logic is as follows. You're looking for y to be greater than or equal to minus 2x plus 40. And of course, x can be a value that goes anywhere from a big negative number to a big positive number, but it doesn't matter. y will be greater the higher that you are. So she assumes that since we have aligned this, that this region represents a larger value for y, this region represents a smaller value for y, that this is the correct region and this is not. And so we get rid of the incorrect region as not belonging. And then we look at our second inequality. Again, we're looking for y being greater than negative 1 third x plus 5. Above that line would be greater values for y. Below this line would be smaller values for y. So again, we get rid of the region that does not satisfy that inequality. Like this. And then the remaining region right here, that's a yes. That is the region that satisfies both of those inequalities at the same time. Again, it's possible when you have a lot of negative and positive signs in different places that you may not quite get the right result. You can always pick a test point and verify that you did this correctly. But again, this is the way you can do it quickly and it's most of the time a fail-safe method. Larger than is up, smaller than is down, so you're fairly sure that this is the correct region. And it's a much faster, indeed, faster method. Of course, I shaded it and you use the other method where you shade the correct way and don't shade the wrong way. I don't like that. I know you don't. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now we know how to solve inequalities, linear inequalities. Now we'll have all kinds of examples coming up. Just make sure that the linear inequality flips when you multiply by a negative. Yes, of course. Yeah, when you multiply both sides of an inequality by a negative, you have to flip the inequality sign around. That's for sure. Or divide. Or divide by negative. That's right. Multiply or divide. Okay.